Hello and welcome to the seventh video in my playthrough of Pokemon Violet. In the last video, things didn't go quite as I'd hoped. The aim was to get to the first Team Star base and to do it, basically, and clear it out. We didn't do it. Last video, we got defeated by a Tauros. And we narrowly, narrowly avoided defeat more than once. Our level, most of, them are, most of the Pokemon I have are 20 or under. And the grunt outside the Team Star base was like mid-25s. Mid-25s, mid-20s, around 25. And, um, yeah. Kind of had to cool retreat on that one. Decided to send some Pokemon out to randomly attack around. And a couple of levels would have got that way, but ultimately... It just wasn't working. So, change the plan. At the end of the video, we went back to the main city and we're going to go out the other gate and we're going to head towards the other Pokemon gym. My thinking at the time is that around the main city, east and west gate, the Pokemon levels are low enough for us to level up to do the second gym and also to do the first um, Team Star hideout. So, that's the plan. And we'll see how that goes. But of course, plans can change. And I'm not finding it frustrating either, because my goal for this series is just to casually play. I'm not speed running it, I'm not doing some crazy internet challenge. This is me playing the game for the first time. And I'm going at my own pace, you know? Um, if you haven't seen the last video, my team. Squawkabilly, because it earned his place on my team. It kind of single handedly saved me at the grass gym because I had a pseudo wudo sweeping me. Wiglet is kind of my water type. Crocolaw is my starter. Pormo just kind of got. Um, so I had a poor me beforehand and it was starting to struggle. And I was thinking about removing it from my team. But then it evolved, got a fighting type, and it's kind of useful. Clod Sire, you might be able to guess it's the evolution of Wobbuff Wobbuffet. Not Wobbuffet. Oh, what did that evolve from? Hooper. Yes, it's the evolution of Hooper. And Nimble. Mostly because I'm curious as to what that thing's going to evolve into. That and they were a pain to catch. I defeated many of them on my way to try and catch it. Uh, at the end of the video, we did some raids. So I got a Steel Terra type Swablu. And, um,. My also, my other goal is to catch the other Squawkabilly colours. I got three of the four. Oh yeah, and this Wooper's an Ice Terror type. So first things first is to have a look at the Poke Portal. Let's see if there's any interesting um, Terror Raid battles. So we're connecting to the internet right now. So let's have a look at the. Uh, do you want to do that? That one. So if there's any like two, three, or even four star. I don't know if there's going to be a five star. But as you can see, we have nothing here. So hopefully it should keep us online. Yeah. We're going towards the arrow. So we're going towards that marker. Wee. I have no idea what I'll find out here. I have tried my best to keep out of the loop in terms of story, how to evolve. Like Clodsire, I guess that happened because it was raining. Other than that, I have no idea. Um, kind of treating it like I did with my with Pokemon Blue when I first got it. It's uh, a rainy day here in Japan, so apologies if that gets a bit loud. Oh, Marib. So yes, I am. I do like Marib. I think Marib's very cute. Um, I'm trying to catch mostly the new Pokemon, but every now and then I'll catch a favourite, or if you saw the Growlithe a couple of videos ago. 
Well, if one des decides to just go out of its way and attack me, then sure, I'll do that. But look at that, Marib. How cute is that? Oh, who's my who's leading? Squawker Billy. Well, Wiglet could do with some leveling up. But Clod's arm might be good against the Marib. Because if you press the R button, Pokemon comes out and attacks everything around it. And I was right, the Pokemon around here are low level. So we're not getting many experience points. But we are also getting items that we can use to make TMs. And this is a Clodsire. It's a ground poison type. Yeah, I can see that in the background as well with the the way the, the wall, the rock is shape shifting. It's weird. So they come back. Kind of reminds me of like PS1 era games. Had that trouble. So that yellow thing, that yellow light means that there's a TM up there to collect. Shiny thing, pick that up. And these characters will heal your Pokemon and share some picnic stuff with you. And when it says rest up, we're not actually going into the picnic here. It's just it'll kind of heal the, our Pokemon. So, let's keep on going. The marker is for the gym in the town we're heading to. Um, so I'll show you. Here it is. Cotondo. So we got all this whole area here to explore along the way. That's a Pokemon Center. That's a Terra Raid battle. And you see we've got four around here, so we might have some fun. There's also a river. I got a Wiglet, and we could see if there's any other better water types. Oh yeah, I've got to change. Ah, oh, it'll be fine. Clodsire is strange looking Pokemon. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we'll switch. Let's send out Drifloon, Ghost Flying. Let's send out Palmer. Let's see that in action. I haven't seen that fight fighting yet. Still a tiny little thing. Put nimble up top. Ah, wiggle it's lower level. I do like in this game how you got groups of Pokemon, but I still haven't found a shiny yet. Is that a zigzag zoom? Nah, Yungus. Unfortunately, my white Pokemon can't climb, but we might be able to go up this way. Hmm, maybe not. As we undo Arvin's quest, we unlock more that we can do with our Maridon. 
So the last time, the last thing we did with Arvin was defeat the Titan Crab Cloth. And from that, Arvin made a sandwich and Rhydon ate it and we unlocked this boost ability. Which doesn't seem to have been useful whatsoever as yet. Other than getting a, some floor out of a um, tree. So I'm going to go to that up there. I think that might be a wild Pokemon with a unique Terra type. What? It's gone. Now it's either a ghost is going to reappear or it just timed out. What have we got here? Don't know, don't know. That's a Pokemon I don't know. What's this? Fiddle. Flittle. I have no idea what that is. That's a new one. I'm guessing fairy then. But I definitely want to try and catch it because again, it's a new Pokemon for me. Maybe that'll be enough. Let's try a ball. Okay, we got a new Pokemon. Excellent. What is it? So it's a psychic Pokemon. I have no idea. Okay. I think it's our first psychic. So it might be worth training that up. You can see there's another one up there. Hmm, hello, Ghastly. So, a Riolu. So I'm here now, and it hasn't reappeared. I wonder what happened to it. That must have just timed out. If it was a ghost Pokemon, I would be able to see the sort of light shining off it. What's in this? I think that's a whooper. It could also be time of day changed. Maybe in the afternoon. Yeah, why not? Maybe in the afternoon it will reappear. Or even evening. But at night, maybe it just timed out. I already have a swablu, so that's why I'm not going for it. Okay, I'm stuck here, am I? How am I meant to get up? Now this guy won't swim. How is it going to put me? Ah, uh, I'm stuck here. Okay, I have to fly back. Uh, I can't say that as a destination because I haven't been there. I've been here before, and that's the route we take we took last time. Now, that's the what we took at the start of the game. 
And in there, I think I got my. Oh no, I might be in here. One of these inlets, I got my wiggler. Now I have to go all the way back here. Because I'm stuck. I cannot get out of that spot. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> well, might as well heal up while I'm here. Sure, what was that Pokemon again? Flittle? It's a small thing. A couple of fairy types. I think I've got one side beam. 19, okay. Well, might as well check the Pokeball and see if we've got any more raids. And we got, I think, a normal Mankey. So I'm not worried about that. Well, it's cool to see Mankey back in the game. Uh, where's the exit? Nope, the berries don't fall off. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I think we should perhaps go to the next Pokestop out here. That one up ahead. Look at all these Mary. Now that's a Smoliv. I do like grass types, but I'm not too worried about a Smoliv, if I'm honest. Not a huge fan of the design, but I understand the why. It's a small olive. Gotcha. <laughs> I wonder what our first shiny is going to be. in the comments if you've encountered any wild shinies I wonder how again I've not really watched any videos or any other youtubers just yet and I really want to, to but I'm also kind of enjoying what I'm doing here so I don't know what the shiny rates are or if there's special shiny methods so let me know if you caught any in the wild and what was it I'd really like to catch one, and I'd like it to be a Pokemon new to the game. But if it isn't, that's not the end of the world. Oh, that's a Naklum, Nakli. I was wondering what was falling down, leaves. Yeah, let's talk to the little guy. After all, the point of coming this way was to help level up our squad a little bit. Oh, level 8. Okay, it's a little lower than I expected. What's this? What are you?
Mastiffs. I don't know what that is. How exciting. But it's level 10 though. I don't have a Pokemon, I don't think, with such a, a low level and a low level move. I need Lick, maybe? Nuzzle. Nuzzle's probably the lowest power move I have. I must admit, these Pokemon are a lower level than I expected. Probably do at least one more nuzzle. Okay, let's use a ball on it. <laughs> a couple of hop it pound a look. The dark Pokemon, okay. Oh, huh, interesting. What I'm going to do, as everything's low level around here, let's put some low level Pokemon in to kind of level up. So like Swablu, let's put that in for, say, Crocodile. Yeah, it might be Fido. Uh, let's put a Knackle in. Tire. Mastiff, dark, dark, okay. Um, I put Charcade in for Nimble. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, I don't want to gauge in battle. So when you defeat one of them, when you come out of the battle, you kind of see them everywhere. Well, it could be that now we've moved into another area closer to the town, and maybe we'll get high level Pokemon, and that they were low level Pokemon because I was off the trail. But who knows? These smaller lives are really small. So remember this yellow one? This will be a TM. So we've got stored power. It has a Diglett with a Terra type. Okay. Sure, I'll catch a Diglett. What's the type going to be? What's that? Is it a ground? Is it a ground diglet with a ground terror type? So if I use another water attack, it shouldn't kill it. There you go. You see it breaks the terror terrestrialization first. And then gives me a chance to catch it. So, 
It's a ground type, yeah. But what's its terror type? That's what I want to know. Rock, okay. So it's a rock terror type. Let's have a look at this. Oh, Kumbi. <laughs> it's a male one. I like the uh, Kumbi and Vespaquen whole thing. That's a Toxel. Water Toxel. Eh. I call it Toxel, but I can't remember if that's the name of or that or its evolution. But it's nice to know that they are Kumbi. We can catch. So I'm going to go to this progy center and I'm going to heal and then I'm going to go back out and find the other one. Let's see if we can get some more Pokeballs here. A couple of them. Where's the Great Balls I'm kind of after? Ooh. All right, so. That's what I'm going up there. Oh, at least I can have a look to see where these go. Yeah, it's very very easy to kind of get distracted and try other things. So that the white light I'm going towards is quite possible that could be like the other side of a river this happened especially in the last video heading towards the light and it's like oh no there's a giant river there not this time I think there's a guy over there I don't think that's you yeah probably no character Rock just appeared. Is that Fido? Yes. Oh, Eevees. Okay. Which is weird how it just disappeared. But you can see the grass move. So we've got a Wiglet. That's normal type, so I'm gonna say no thank you. Let's explore this way then. Okay. So 
sometimes if you fall your character will get their phone out and oh, oh give me go and um, yeah he'll float down okay we see what's down there let's fight the guy up here I wonder what you have. A student. Wow. So we know this guy is a dark type. Um, I don't think I've got anything suitable against darks. Or some. Sure, let's put Paul Murray in. Oh, that was it, okay. Again, everything's kind of low level. So in that case, target it, go, defeat my enemies. Where are you going? I do like this feature. It's kind of cool. Where's another one? Ah, here's some. Oh, well, how will it do? Okay, it's losing a little health. You can see on the bottom left. And of course, as well as getting XP, you can see on the right side, so mid right, that we're also gaining materials that we can use to make TMs when we want to. No, try again. <laughs> okay, there's a little tuckered out. So, so blue's flying, so we don't want to put it out with Marie. I don't know if it has any fairy moves, so we'll soon find out. It's not doing too bad against them. I might be good against the Fletchinder, maybe. Keep going. Alright then. So remember we're off on the quest to that one up there. But we might as well do some leveling up. I said this Swablu is the one with the steel terror type. Oh a combi.
I'll do that small live while I check what that is. That's a male combi. So the question is, if there's the male combi, where is the hive? Another male one. Whoops. Yeah, it's doing pretty good against all these Pokemon. I didn't think it would. Okay, let's come back. Where else should we put next? You're getting quite low on health. Yep, Knackley. Again, I think it's called Knackley. Again, I've not watched or listened to anything about the game, so some of the pronunciations I'm kind of having to guess. It's a rock type, so we don't want it against any of these smolivs. Or, so let's find a Marip or. Um, this. Sure, I'll give it a go against the Mastiff, see what that does. Hey, good job. Mastiff, Mastiff, I remember that. Are they coming in attack? Yeah. What are you doing? Attack it. Ugh, fine. We'll do it together. <laughs> We might do that tower as well. That's a new raid then, we haven't done that. Possibly, possibly, I'm not 100% sure. Well, let's do this little guy. Okay, it's not good for Nackley, which I've got first. Walk a billion. There are four types, four different colours of Squawkabilly. I'm looking for the yellow. It's the last one I need. So keep your eyes out. We might be on the wrong side of the map because all these that I've caught so far were on the other side. No, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so there's a Terra Raid we haven't found yet. So let's see what it is, if there's anything good. A Venonat. Ugh. 
No, thank you. There's a lot of uh, hot pepper around here. So might as well get it, chuck it out, have some fun. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, like that one. Okay, so they're all in the group. They might fly off, but go, Chocolate. Wreak havoc. Why is there anything on the tree? Guess not. So, well, well, oh yes, we're going to the Pokemon Center. Oh, getting distracted for a TM. Must slap. Aha, combi. Now, show me the queen. In the middle. Ah, nuts. That's not who I... Ah, you're in my way. She's getting away. I want at least sweet scent might just brought her back. <laughs> Oh, go, go, go on. Double check, no. This one. Aha! This is the one we want. I'm actually going to try and use the quick ball. Aha! We got the female combi. Which means it will evolve into a Vespaquen. Excellent. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, I hit the wrong button, but never mind. Wonder if we're gonna find Mew underneath that truck. No, no Mew. Oh, I shouldn't laugh. But he caught up. Ah, good news from here. I think it's stuff finished raining now, which is great. Because it has rained all day.
We'll do the tower in a sec. We'll come back for the tower. Alright, let's save. Not enough dawdling. Okay, so we've got a lot of these Marib. Let's swap out for the Nackley. Because Mary is electric type, you see. So I'm hoping it'll be a fairly straightforward, quick and easy win. And it is. And rock should be good against the bird, so have at it. Wiglet didn't evolve when it got level 20. So I will genuinely wonder how we're going to evolve that. See the different sizes. One on the top left was the smallest of the Marib. It's the smallest and it wants to fight. Okay. Okay. And because it wanted a fight. I'll catch it. Oh, perhaps the camera shouldn't zoom in on grass that looks like that. I think I want to check before we do that. I was just wondering if it wouldn't evolve because we were in that mode. Well, let's go up top. Come back. Because up here I think it should be a gimme ghoul. My guess is you get one at every one of these towers. That's just a guess. Because I've only done one tower. <laughs> there it is. There's a gimme ghoul. Okay, this is going to be controversial. I really do like 
Corn Bean Vesper Crane. So I'm going to get that in to pick up some um, valuable points, experience points. I'm going to bring in Flirtle because actually, Ghost, that's got Bite and Lick. Yeah, let's get him, my guy there. So I don't know what level it's going to be. I'll just bring the whole team back, if I'm honest. <laughs> So I'll go Nimble Go first because it's got, oh no, it's got Assurance. Um, sorry, it's Quarkabilly. I'm going to put Fliddle first. Oh, wrong button. I'm going to save because I had really rotten luck last time, so... I'm hoping things go better. And last time, I mean last video. Well, the last time against this, I kind of nearly lost. Whoops. Huh. <laughs> uh... Oh well. At least we got one. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Oh well, so we're back down there. So let's go towards the city. swap out some of the other Pokemon. Anything cool I want to put in here? See there's the uh, Gimme Ghoul. Why can't I give it to hold? Makes me wonder if I can give it Gimme Ghoul coin. That has to be how it evolves, surely. But where are they? Hmm, I wonder how that does evolve. Anyway. Walk. Bug flying, fire, electric fighting. Yeah, let's leave it as that. I didn't think it would let me. Alright. Let's head to the town. We've got a whole host of Pokemon for you to beat up here. Yeah, either way, I've already got a female one, so I'm going to get my Vesper Quinn one way or another. It's quite fun to watch it go. Right, come back. I don't want to fight it like that. <laughs> I want to fight it. Hit. Knacker will do its own thing.
The local should be thanking us for taking out all these bugs. Have we defeated this guy? I guess not. <laughs> It's wearing the school logo. A very old student. But actually, when I was at university, there was a, a vicar. And he was older than 60. He was retired, a vicar. See that? Right there. Gimme ghoul. I hope that they're not in fixed positions. I hope it's just random. If they're there in fixed positions, it's gonna be a pain to find them all. But if they're random and they can get up and move, then it doesn't matter, does it? Where are you running to? Right there. It's a shame we haven't come across any terror raid battles that are actually decent. Well, the Swablu is still Swablu is quite fun, I suppose. Try again. Fine. I don't actually know what Char Cadet evolves into or even how to evolve it. It looks very similar to a Pokemon that was teased. Not so much teased, but shown before the game came out. And it looked like from the trailer that Violet and Scarlet have different versions of it. So I'm wondering if it's just one base and two evolutions. But if that's the case. How do you evolve it? I mean, oh, Starling wants to have a fight, does it? Because I will catch it then if it wants to have a fight. Happy day, mate. Why? I think there's a Fido behind him, yeah. Ah, oh, Amphi. It's a ground type. Gonna have to swap out of that one. You see, as we haven't fought one before, we don't know what's good and what's not good. But I know it's ground, so I'm going to just put in the uh, water type there.
Well, that was a little too easy. The problem with going this side, it's kind of a lower level than I need. Jigglypuff, Pigglybuff, Fido. Well, let's heal. Interesting, the combi is a male combi picture, but we know it's the female combi. I wonder if that's a mistake. Okay. Nice prize. Let's have a look into the town then. Doesn't look too big. Cool hair across. Wonder if we're gonna get a hint of what small it evolves into. Yeah, I saw that, don't worry. We've got two Vivions here. Pavilion. 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 Ah, whatever. So it's cool. Now we know in this game that you can get different ones. That would be a fun thing to do later. I think I heard a rumor that some events come into Pokemon Go to do with Pavilion. So maybe that's something to do with it. I do, because I had one. But again, you can't go in these houses. So it's nice that the city looks bigger, and then you've got houses, and it feels more real. But, it feels kind of left lived in sometimes. Another wing type. You see, that's a gym there. I guess gift shop. <laughs> Let's head up here. I don't exactly remember what gym this is. We've done the grass. Could be bug. Oh, I don't think I've got Flabebe anymore. I tra I did a wonder trade. I oh, know I've still got it. I kept it because it was electric. So yeah, let's do this trade with Snom. Goodbye. Is that a shiny Snom? Maybe not. That <laughs> snows a lot. Okay. I didn't really use Snom much in the um, Sword and Shield. That's cool.
arrived at my destination. I feel like that should have been said a little while ago, never mind. Not a hair across. Uh, it's this one of the smallest um, towns we've had so far. I'm using this just to kind of register it so we can fly here in the future. Let's have a quick look outside the gym, outside the town. Anything immediately worth catching? Anything new? Not really, everything looks the same. So let's do the gym. Let's do the gym and then let's say that's the end of the video. I say as I go around this way but we haven't been to this house yet. For the grass gym, we had to do a challenge first. We had to find 10 sunflora. I think that might be in video 4. <laughs> Small if on the roof. Small if get everywhere. Gotta check the back, see if there's anything. Any items? Ah, TM. Yes, thing, thing, wow, thing ever. Ah. Okay. Olive roll, okay, what do we have to do here? Oh, oh god, how strange is that? <laughs> kind of like Sword and Shield has some strange gym challenges. Are we just really gonna push a bowl, is that what we're going to do? So where do we have to go? Okay. That's right there. Sure. I have no idea what to expect. I think it might be that green thing in the middle of the screen there. Oh, okay. So we've got to push what looks like a giant rugby ball. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a time limit on this. Oh god, is there gonna be... I guess that's a no-go that way, okay. I 
Uh, it would have been fun if perhaps we could have had our Pokemon join us for this. I don't really know where we're meant to go. I'm guessing we can't go where those line of smallers are. So I guess we just go round? Now it just seems a little too easy. Is that it? Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you gotta remember that this is not just aimed at people my age or people younger, it's also aimed at like teenagers or even kids, so I guess it can't be too much of a challenge. Okay, so... Is that an earthquake? Don't know. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar, I live in Japan, so... Yeah, we got earthquakes here. So if it's a bug gym, we need fire, flying, and ice. That was snom. Ten. Ugh, oh, it's going to be a bit too low for this gym. Are we worth keeping in just to level up? Now, uh, where's my... Level 8. 13. There he is. But I was going to be keeping these guys in. We've got rock and ground. Thunder. Sorry, electric. Fighting and ground as well and fire dark and ghost because if it's anything like the grass gym it's going to be a surprise because the surprise in the last gym was Sudorudo being a grass terror type so there's going to be a bug pokemon here that's going to be a type Ooh, come back that we don't know So I'm just trying to cover my bases a little bit. Oh, I didn't see what Terra type Snom is. I know Snom's a very low level ice. But who knows? And plus, uh, you get some experience points. The sugar bug. So what do we think the terror type is going to be? Or the sort of curveball Pokemon at the end? Put in the comments what you guys think it could be. What's a Pokemon that wants to be a bug Pokemon? I don't know. Again, I don't even know what Pokemon are in this game. Could it be a Snom? Was that a hint? We just got a pavilion. Maybe it's going to be like a Vesperquin. Oh, that was Surskit earlier. Maybe Surskit's evolution that's now back to being a bug type. Weird eyes. Something not quite right about that. So 
So again, I don't know what she's going to sleep with. I'm just going with generic fire. I don't know what level the Pokemon are. It could all go very badly. And it wouldn't be the first time I've died. So what's her level? Fourteen, okay. I wonder what that evolves into, that nimble. It's kind of one of the main reasons why it's still in my team. Just curious to what it evolves. Now let's keep current Pokemon in. I'm starting to feel like this would have been the first Pokemon gym you should have done. I'm gonna switch out. Burn Nackley in. So I did the grass one first. Because it was near where I got the herb for Arvin. Teddy Ursa. My guess is kind of like Winnie the Pooh. A bear that likes the honey. She's been talking about the bug Pokemon and what they eat and maybe that's the idea here. So, a normal type. Well actually we don't know what the terror type's going to be so let's see what happens. Nothing yet. Oh, yeah. So it is a bug type, okay. A bug normal type. So sticking with fire shouldn't be a problem. Speed drop, that's kind of the best I was hoping for there. Okay. So we've got a bug and normal. Let's try a flying attack. Its terror type is, it might be normal. Oh, well. <laughs> that's two gyms in a row. Squawker Billy has won it for me with the final terror battle. That's it, it's a really cool Pokemon. I recommend a Whooper and a Squawker Billy for everyone. That's not a bad photo.
mysterious new character has appeared. Okay, okay. Link 4. I haven't met him yet. Yeah, I want to find what my treasure is, okay. <laughs> Looks a little strange. See, that comment makes me think like we should be going back to school. See, this is a la language class, an art class. So there's something more to do. Okay, zoom out. So we've done that one, we've done that one, we're over here, what's this one? I think this is a gym. Psychic gym. So I was trying to think where to go next. It's a new titan. There's a. What's that one? There's a. Titan 2. It's a dragon titan. That's gonna be a pain to fight, isn't it? Hmm. I could even explore our home area a little bit more. I haven't been home yet. There's not much here to do about raid dens. So there might be some interesting Pokemon. We've got an ice den there. I think I'm gonna set that as the destination. So we're gonna We need to get over this river. So how do we get there then? Yes, any more information? I'm just wondering how we get up there. Because there's no obvious path. Which makes me wonder if that's actually the right place to go. Or if this is. So from here we leave and just follow until we get to this bridge and this bridge. But we've got this area here. So actually let's set that as the marker. So we've got to keep going forward until we get to a bridge. So we'll do that in the next video. Well, today we'll save here. I will heal. Just walking with a nimble. Mysterious guy. Oh, gal. <laughs> Before we go, the last thing we'll do is we'll check the raid battles and see if there's any anything happening. Okay, we have a choice. Well, I like Squelp. Squelp? Skelp? They say poison dragon with a grass terror type, by the looks of it. 
So if we can get in there, that would be nice. It's just a shame that the check for no postings doesn't seem to have work. If it does, it's on a timer. Not a timer that's useful for me. The next one across, it's from Sword and Shield and it's a fairy type. And I can picture it, I can picture its evolutions, but its name. Oh, what's its name? What's its name? Of course, I was unable to join. I can't check, so let's try that again. This was a problem in Sword and Shield as well. Refreshing, disconnecting, and connecting. It's such a pain sometimes. Of course, wasting time on this one means we can't do any of the others. It's a high chance that whichever one we try to do next out of these ones on the screen will also have timed out and be kind of out of date. So now we can check. Okay. A ghost petal. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sounds like fun. Was that Petal Lil? Petal Lil? I think so. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. And you guys, you can see the silhouette, so you know what I'm talking about. That sort of chalkboard. Cork board, I mean, type pattern. It's distracting how frequently that, um, how that is just one small picture re repeated. Damn, this internet is really being a pain. A grass or a skip, a water bug and grass. Yeah, not the best thing. And I can't stop it from communicating. I've tried this and B. So once you hit A, you're kind of stuck there. I imagine you can press the home button on the controller and quit the game completely, but... I wonder how many stars you can get. Ah, uh, cancel that one. I want to check for something I actually really want. <laughs> like, what is that? No idea what that is. Well, Nassil, Rupa, Baby Meryl, Baby Electric Frog. I'm going to come across one of those in the wild and accidentally killed it, so could be fun. But I don't even know what this is to know if the fire is a good type or not. Because, um, Violet and Scarlet do have Pokemon that's unique to each game. 
So is it unique to this game, or is it one I just haven't come across yet? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm Violet. So that is a part of my game anyway. <laughs> oh, why can't we join that? I mean, do I want a bug, electric, whatever? Bug, water, fairy. Fire, whooper. I've already got a whooper. Poison, nasil. Nah, I've already got a nasil. We hit random. We just do whatever. Let's wait for one more check for new postings. I mean, you guys, feel free to let me know in the chat how how has it gone for you have you had as many problems as I am having trying to connect to rare battles have you got a shiny for raid I think in sword and shield it was easier to get shinies via raids or something like that that might have been in the final expansion where you're going for the tunnels that might have been um, there might have been higher shiny odds there Okay, final time, here we go. A ghost Growlithe, fine. <laughs> fine, whatever, it's fine. I still Venonat, still Bug Psychic. Ah, uh, still very weak to fire. But a ghost dog kinda sounds fun. If he'll let me join, of course. If this fails, I just hit random and we'll do whatever we do, and that'll be the end of the video. It certainly wasn't my aim to spend any 10 minutes on this. I know the game needs some patches for other aspects. Oh, oh wow, that's a Pokemon I've not seen before. So, Ghost. Dog put in my wiggle. Sure, why not? Yeah, so the clock size, what well, I've got, wiggle is mine, the one above from Akira, I don't know, and Satoshi, oh, I think that's what it is. I don't know that one either. So we've got two Pokemon I've never seen before in this battle. That's kind of exciting. Spot the two new kids and spot the kids that have been at it for a while. So, that's the grass starter evolved. So the one on my right is the one I don't recognise then. As a as in a Pokemon I've never seen. There's a pink one with a hammer. <laughs> Whatever that is. So that Grass starter final evolution looks a little strange, doesn't it? I did like this effect. And you get a nice vibration on the controller as well. There we go. Yeah, we'd have one growlith. Now, are those other Pokemon going to be in my Pokédex? No, because that Spooky Tito's evolution would be there. What's this trophy one? Huh. I did not know that was there. Oh, 
Well, there you go. If you have a have this game, check that button. The only thing I want to check out before we go, um, I don't worry, I will be going shortly. It's um at the bottom here. Okay, so none of them can use the thunderstone, or moonstone, or sunstone. Are we going to use it? We can't. It won't check the box, so we would have to um, check boxes. I will give the quick claw to my guy there because he is. What is this? Do I don't know. Yeah, he's a little slow, so we'll give him that. And there we go. That'll be this video. Kind of. I didn't really come in knowing exactly what I would do, but it's nice that we got a gym badge. And next video, we're going to head towards that marker, get to that Pokestop, and have a look at maybe what that Air Titan is. So, until that video, or maybe until I see you on the side checking out our other things like some of our playlists or um, some of our YouTube shorts. Until I see you again, please take care.